Hey everyone, welcome back and today we'll be doing another lead code problem 717 1 bit at 2 bit character. This is an easy one. You have two special characters. The first character can be represented by 1 bit 0. The second can character can be represented by 2 bits 10 uh, or 11. Uh, 1 0 or 1 1. This is not 10 and 11. Given a binary array bits uh, that ends with 0, return true if the last character must be a 1 bit character. So, 0 is the 1 bit character. Basically, they are saying if there is a 0 at the very end, stand alone. So, here if we have this example, we are going to return true because this is our 2 bit character this 0 and this, uh, this 1 and this 0, and then 0 at the very last is going to be a sing, uh, you can say a 1 bit character. So, we'll be returning true in this case. In this case, we are not going to return true because this is a 2-bit character and this is also 1 and 0 is also a 2-bit character. So that's it. So we will be starting our index from 0 and will be our length of nums and number of bits you can say we will be having as a counter. So while our i is less than nums and if bits at i is equal to 1 then we know that we are going to have 1 is just basically not a 0 bit a 1 bit character so we will be incrementing i by 2 because we, we whenever we in, uh, reach 1 or you can say encounter 1 we are going to have a 2 bit so that's why we are going i plus 2 and nums will be al also num bits will also be incremented by 2 so that's it and now in the else case we can see that if we have a 0 we are just going to increment our index by uh, 1 nums is not going to be incremented nums is going to be 2 because obviously we are not to, uh, not to do increment at each point and num bits will be 1 uh, if we encounter a 0. So if we encounter a 0 at the very end then obviously num bits is going to be 1 and then we can just return if num bits are equal to 1. So that was it. Oh okay so it was our bits array. I thought it was a nums array. That's it.